Hey yo, and welcome back to Wonderlands Gamers. In today's video, we're bringing back a series I did in Borderlands 3, where I farm one boss a hundred different times, taking down all of the info, and then breaking it down for you guys, so you know what dedicated drops they have, what it's like trying to get enchantments, chaotix, and volatiles. Also, what it's like farming on just level 40 no chaos mode, versus farming with chaos mode as well. Having 4,000 loot luck, versus having practically 50,000 loot luck, and just kind of what it's like getting legendary weapons in Wonderlands, because the system is nowhere near as straightforward as it used to be. Starting the series off with Zomboss, if you guys would like to farm them, go to Shattergrave Barrow, run to the end of the map, and you'll find a new station really close to their boss fight with some betting machines as well. They're all around a pretty solid boss fight, but particularly for console players, because you don't have to log out and log back in to get them to respawn. You can actually down yourself post-fight, you respawn back at that very close new station, and you can just farm them again because they will respawn. Alternatively, you can fast travel to Brighthoof, turn around, use the portal that's just there, and it will respawn you at the closed news station as well. The difficulty you set your game to, by the way, doesn't affect uh, legendary drop rates or anything like that. It doesn't change volatiles, chaotix, or enchantments. The only thing that changes is the gold and moon orb drops you get. You'll get more if you're an intense, but literally no difference to the rest of the gear or drop rates. What does entirely affect your drop chance is your loot luck number. If you guys have never heard of this, I'll give you a quick rundown. Go to your inventory, go skills, go hero points, and underneath your class power, you will find your loot luck number. This heavily affects what legendaries drop in your game or how many of them drop in your game. Loot luck base is just when you're leveling up in the game, they'll give you a bunch of extra loot as you go up each level. Myth rank you get at level 40, you're pretty much just like your um, guardian rank in Borderlands 3, it's just like a secondary leveling system after you finish the game. And you can uh, spec into random things like strength, constitution, dark magic, stuff like that. And over in this tree you can buff your loot luck all the way up to an extra 100% when you have 20 points in there, which to be honest, not that hard to get. I got this like a few days ago, so within a week of the game coming out. Then you have your Chaos Loot Luck, so once you're at Chaos level 20, you get a buff from that. If you collect all the Loot Luck dice in the game, there's guides on the channel for that, by the way. They take forever, but it is worth it because you get a 3x multiplier plus 1.35 once you have all of them. Then there's also a Loot Luck Shrine in the Overworld. And finally, you can also get Loot Luck buffs via your passes on your items. Now, the higher your Loot Luck number, the more legendaries you're going to see in your game. That includes World Drops and Dedicateds. That might change in the future because it's a little bit of a wonk system, but currently, both are buffed considerably by having a higher Loot Luck number. Now, I know not everyone's going to have 48k because that's a really high number and I play way too much of this video game, but I actually farmed Zomboss 100 times on two separate occasions. I farmed them once I got to Chaos 20 with 48k Loot Luck, and I also farmed them as soon as I hit 40 with the base loot luck that I had after finding just a few dice as I was doing my playthrough and whatever loot luck it gave me as I got to level 40, being around three to 4,000 loot luck. So I actually have a comparison for you guys for a fresh new character once you hit 40 at around three to 4K loot luck. And then when you're at max level with a really good amount of loot luck, it, I'm sure I could go higher, but with a good amount at 48K. So I can compare and show you guys the difference between dedicated drops when you don't have loot luck versus when you do, and same thing with well drops. And then we'll also get into the chaotics, enchantments, and volatiles. I feel like there's going to be a lot of information in this video, and if any of it's confusing, and if you have any questions, hit me in the comment section, I'll answer all of them, I'll be happy to clarify anything. But hopefully I explained everything clear enough, let's jump into the numbers of the first 100 farms that I did at base level 40 with only three to 4,000 loot luck. After 100 farms of Zomboss, I got 14 legendaries, which isn't a whole lot, but 14 legendaries. Six of those were dedicated drops. Now, the dedicated drops for Zomb Boss are confirmed to be the Last Gasp Shield, as well as the Undead Shield. The prefixes and suffixes can change considerably for those, but they're both pretty solid shields. The Undead Shield, definitely a bit more of a leveling one, doesn't really hold up at Chaos 20, but its gimmick is it has little green skulls that pop out from it, shooting enemies, and then after a short time, it will run into the enemies, uh, exploding and doing poison damage. It also has a Poison Nova uh, on Shield Break, which I'm pretty sure is locked to always be poison. Let me know if you guys have seen it a different element. I've only ever seen poison ones. The second shield, the last gasp, is definitely the better one, at least in my opinion. High capacity, also has some bonuses of fire rate, 25% extra, 20% extra reload speed, and ammo regen while the ward is depleted. Not a huge amount of ammo regen, but a little bit. Also can roll with passive like max health, max uh, ward, as well as spike, which when enemies melee you, it returns 628 frost damage to them. Also, while farming at level 40 with no chaos levels with the base loot luck, I didn't get a single enchantment roll on any of my items, which to be fair, you can add enchantments to items, but it's a good note that I didn't get a single one. 
Also, I didn't get a single Chaotic or Volatile because you can't get those unless you are in Chaos Mode. And if you sat there like, what the heck is a Chaotic or a Volatile? They're essentially better versions of the Legendaries you already have. They're not like a separate set of items like Pearls were for Borderlands 2. They just improve stat versions of the Legendaries. For example, I had a Masterwork Handbow that was just a base level uh, Legendary one, and it did 2,100 damage per shot. My Chaotic that I eventually found now does 2,500, and if I got a Volatile, I guess it would probably be around about 3,000 damage per shot. So they're just slight improvements, so eventually you want to have all your stuff Volatile, that'll take a long time because they're super rare, but as you're Chaos 20 and you really get into some endgame, most of your gear will be Chaotic rather than just regular Legendaries. Which is a huge reason why I wanted to bring back the series, because if you guys came here wanting Legendaries, I'm here to tell you you want Chaotics and Volatiles, that is the good stuff for endgame. Now, as you increase your Chaos level in your menu, you'll see that obviously enemy HP and damage go up, but you get better rewards. As you scroll down, you'll see Chaotic and Volatile drop chance. At max level or Chaos 20 right now, 28% drop chance for Chaotics and just 1.4% drop chance for Volatiles. But Chaotics and Volatile rolls can drop on any rarity of item. You can get a white rarity ward that's literally called ward because it's so basic and it'll drop with volatile or has a chance to i've literally seen it and i was pain and suffering but that's why i wanted to write it all down so you guys had an actual general idea of what you could expect if you farmed a boss a hundred times or 200 times how many actual legendaries would get the volatile roll or a chaotic roll and now that hopefully everyone's up to speed after 100 farms at level 40 chaos 20 with 48,000 loot luck about 10 times the amount of loot luck that i had originally I got 51 legendary items compared to just 14 originally. More interesting, the dedicated, I got 15 dedicated drops in this farm versus just six originally. So about 2.5 times the dedicated and about 3.5 to four times the world drops with 10 times the loot luck. So it probably doesn't work how you guys thought it might. And it also doesn't add more dedicated at the same rate as it does world drops at all you get way more world drops i also did get enchantments this time with some of my rolls out of all the legendaries i got 12 enchanted items which to be fair not all the items can actually roll in chance like the rings the necklaces and the armor can't roll with enchant so out of all of the items 27 of them could have rolled with enchant and 12 of them did so that's about a 45 percent rate chaotics and volatiles though they can roll on anything and i managed to get 12 chaotics this time out of 51 legendaries that's about a 23 percent drop rate which is pretty close to what it says in the Chaos menu. And I got one singular Volatile, which happened to be on the dedicated um, Last Gasp shield, which I showed off a little bit earlier, which I guess is on par. I mean, that's a really hard one to tell without doing a whole lot more farming. As for the distribution or the split of the legendaries, which can really highlight how much you can get screwed by RNG, I got way more Last Gasp shields than I did get Undead shields, which are the two dedicateds. Usually how the game works, the game decides, are we going to drop a dedicated? Yes. Okay, randomly roll between the loot pool that the boss has, which for this one has two. So generally, it should be 50-50, right? Yeah, no shot. I got 11 last gas shields in the second 100 farms and just four undead shields, which is completely off. And then the original farm, I got four last gasps, two undead. So both times, way more last gas shields, which if you're going for that, perfect if you're going for the undead shield you're probably going to have to put in a lot more work which is what i really want to highlight because sometimes you can farm a boss a hundred times or even up to a thousand times and if you're going for a particular dedicated drop you can be trolled by the other dedicated drops in that boss's loot pool i'm not fully certain of the significance of saying the distribution for world drops until we do some you know future episodes and some more farming and testing but for future reference i got 10 spells seven melee weapons six class mods or armor uh, five ward slash shields that were in the world drop system, not including the dedicated. Three rings, zero necklaces, which is really weird, and just five weapons. So I got way more spells, no necklaces, and a very average amount of weapons. That is a loot from 100 Farms of Zomboss. If you guys found the video helpful, don't forget to smash subscribe. Helps me out. And if you guys want to see the next one, then you'll be notified for that if you click the bell. Other than that, we have a second channel for Minecraft content. We have a Twitch channel for live stream content. And we also have a Discord for cool community things. All linked down below. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Catch you guys in the next one. Till then, adios.